Hi everyone! This video is about this how to assemble this little divider tray that I've made in Design Space. Um, it's 7 inches by 5 inches. I made these to fill with candy for my grandchildren to give their dads. So on this one I put some Cricut images in the bottom to decorate it. I'll leave those images in the file, but I'll also include um, blank pieces in case you don't want to use these. You have a Canadian loony and toony, so that might not be what you want to put in yours. So let's go ahead and see how we assemble this. Um, when you cut the file, you're going to have, oh yeah, I have this little dad on the front of it. So you're going to have the word dad. You'll have those decorative panels and you'll also have plain ones. You'll have the base or divider section that goes into the tray and you have the tray itself. So I'll start with this tray and then we'll switch to the divider and come back to the tray. So to begin this, you're going to want to close up your two short sides and these tabs, but not these sections at the top before you put in the dividers because we're going to use those to hide the pieces that are keeping the dividers in place. So we'll go ahead and close the sides. Turn it over. We'll put some glue on the tabs that we're going to use to form the box or tray. And we'll just line those up to, to make our tray. There we go. Oh, I think I better put a little more glue in that one. A little more glue there. There we go. So there's your tray, your basic tray. This is really, really easy to construct, and um, I'll find, I'm sure you'll find you can do this in minutes. And then you have this form. So you've got three score lines in it. You want to bring them and bring them up like this to form the divider sections. So what you're going to do is turn it over, run your adhesive right across, including the tabs. Before you fold this to make your divide, you're going to want to push the tabs out of the way because you don't want them to stick to each other. And then you just make your little divider part, divider wall, whatever you want to call it. Push them out of the way and adhere it again. So now you have it. You have a two inch, three inch and two inch section. So we're going to insert this into the tray. There we go. And use those tabs to hold it in place. And there. And now you're going to bring these pieces in to cover those tabs. Of course, you're going to use that easive to keep them in place, but I'm just going to go ahead and fold them in for the sake of this video. There we go. There we go. And now we can add some decorative panels to the inside if you feel, or if you don't want to, you can just leave it as is. It depends on your paper and how you want the finished look. So go ahead and Push that down. So this is a really fun little project that you can use to use it to give a little treat or, or use it on your own desk to just to um, store little bits and pieces on your own desk. So it's pretty handy. And there you go. And that's all there is to it. And you have your little divider tray. The paper that I used was quite thick and I don't like the way that it 
uh, cracked, not cracked, but discolored when I made the fold very tight. So I think I would just maybe ink that to hide it. We have the little dad embellishment, which I ran through my Zyron, if you'd like to put that on the front of it. Can do that, we'll line it up in the middle. And there you go. That's all there is to it. I hope you like it. I hope you'll find a use for these and you'll make some. Thank you for watching.